Good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Alexander Maros, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to create how to uh, create a button uh, for a video player, flash video player, any kinds of video players with a play on it. That's going to look so nice in the, in the minutes. Uh, and like you're gonna spend around six minutes to create one and then you can use this template create stop pop, pause and uh, rewind back and forward so let's go ahead and start it I'm gonna just create a new file uh, I'm gonna select 400 by 400 pixels make sure it's not the inches I'm gonna click OK 72 resolution DPI is perfect uh, have the clear background Okay, I'm gonna create the new layer and I'm gonna do a circle for the circle I'm gonna choose instead of normal fixed ratio one by one so circle gonna be so excellent with the, my keys up left uh, down and right I can move the circle I would like to fill it uh, with the uh, would say with the blue color okay now I'm gonna go ahead and create another circle or I'm gonna just create a new layer and imagine that I have if I'm gonna close this I have just a clear circle I'm gonna fill it with the white CS4 extended, this is extended version, look a little bit different than the regular version, but anyways, so just let you know. Okay, I create this, and uh, as you can see, it's a white circle, and now what I'm going to do, select auto select and show transform, so I'm going to see the transform boxes. I'm gonna scroll it till the up a little bit so I can make a nice white oval here. Apply, okay, and select. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blur it. Why I'm doing this? I'm just trying to create a nice. Uh, a nice bowl that's gonna have some nice reflection on, of the light on it. So something like this. So we already can see this. That's beautiful. I'm gonna click OK here. Uh, maybe just a little bit more like this. Perfect great gradient. Click OK here. And I'm gonna do just about the same for my button button so uh, create a new one again and fill it with the white again but this time not the white this time the black color I'm gonna fill it with my paint bucket to the black and I'm gonna squeeze it to the bottom make me perfect as you will see I'm gonna click apply here perfect gradient in a second. I'm gonna select it, click filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and as you can see, it's giving me some shape here, which is nice. Okay, let's about like that. Gonna give me some round circle, like more 3D. Okay? So you got the perfect idea about now how to create the circle perfect 3D. Uh, now, or sphere, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch to sphere layer, I'm going to go to my blending options, and I'm going to give it a nice bevel. So it's going to look like a button, 
button so I'm gonna select something As you can see I have all the different kinds of options and I'm gonna stick with only one in this case which will bring us some nice I'm gonna go outer barrel and it's gonna bring us nice button look so some okay actually first let's do some stroke one black as you can see and now I'm gonna do the bevel which is gonna bring that button all the way around and I'm gonna change the size which about like that I'm on outer bevel you can see my picture perfectly click OK and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a play symbol to do so all what I need to do is just rectangular marquee tool create a new layer on top of everything to move that empty layer I'm just holding my mouse and I'm going up okay layer 4 just keep in, in mind it's good to name your layers play symbol so we're gonna know what's going on light source source and uh, sh dark shader shader okay and sphere just click on name of the layer double click on it and you can name it okay perfect place symbol how to create this I'm gonna select rectangular marquee tool do perfect fixed ratio one by one rectangle like this then I'm gonna select and click somewhere over here okay I gotta fill this first alright I'm gonna fill it with the blue color and let's go ahead and paint back it blue okay then I'm gonna click somewhere on those m margins sand and apply and now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna unselect and I'm gonna go ahead and select it again like this and I'm gonna control my re rectangular margin uh, let's redraw it like that and with left and up and down and right keys I can control my borders click with delete button I'm gonna delete this perfectly so I have that perfect symbol over here I can put it somewhere over here in the center okay and now to give it better look I'm gonna go to blending options and I'm gonna go and select bevel and in bevel we're going to select something like this ring effect on a gloss contour so it's gonna give us some that look and inside I can use some gradient if I want to and keep it instead of blue keep it silver so it's gonna match with our borders I'm gonna click OK here and as you can see I have perfect beautiful just excellent button so let's place it nicely and yes here is my button over here and I can zoom out click symbol of the zoom alt zoom out and shift to zoom in so perfectly I have that
So at this point, as you can see, this button is, is look just so solid and if I make my uh, button size perfectly I can change the size for my flash player let's say 100 by 100 mm, it doesn't look that good just because we already resized so when you start making a project just if it's in in Photoshop instead of in Illustrator you need to make sure because we're working with the rasterized graphic make sure that you know your proportions and your sizes before you jump into the project so today I explained to you how to do the circle or 3D sphere you can call it like this bring the light source bring the shutters 